Okay, today I want, just want to talk about a uh, subject which a lot of people don't realise is a major issue with solar power systems, and that's shading. Most people think, oh look, um, only one panel's in shade, or just a little bit of that panel's in shade. Look, what's that? Look, there's lots of panels there which aren't in shade, it, it doesn't really matter. Now, it does actually matter quite considerably. And uh, so that's what we're having a look at today, and I want to explain that to you. So here we just have a picture uh, from Neomap of a solar power system installed by Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions here on the Gold Coast at Benogan. And you can see we've got 19 panels on the roof. We've got some big trees over here which are quite high. They actually shade the panels in the morning. And we also have here a satellite dish on the roof here, which you can see the bit of shade there from it. This is probably 1, 8, 1 p.m. in the afternoon. And uh, as the sun goes down more in the afternoon, that shade actually goes onto the solar, this solar panel beside it here. So let's have a look at how this actually affects the solar power system. Now with this system here, we actually installed it with a solar edge solar power inverter and uh, solar edge maximizes opti uh, power optimizers underneath each solar panel. And what this does is actually uh, get some maximum out of each and every individual solar panel on the system. If we have a look just at, this is a uh, solar edge layout of the solar panels for that very site we just had a look at. So you can see the top row there, the panel missing where the uh, satellite dish is as you can see there. And so you can see this is first thing in the morning. The, all the panels are producing a very small amount of power and we'll just scroll up just see you can see here this is the uh, the shade from the, the from the tree you can see it's it's these these panels here are starting to get in full sun but these panels here are still in shade from the tree and you can see this one here is actually quite low still because that's the, the actually the uh, satellite dish shading that first thing in the morning and so how this would actually work with a standard solar power system other than the solar edge product most other solar inverters out there are what's called string inverters now what this means is that the panel solar panels are all wired up in series strings now in this case what you'd most likely have is the top row always one series string of panels and the bottom row is one series string of panels now there is one major issue with solar panels which are wired in series strings and that is when things are wired in series they only work as well as the weakest link now in this case here you can start seeing a glaring problem because we've got panel, a panel on the right hand side which is producing 33 watts and we've got the panels on the left hand side producing 168 watts so if this was this system here was connected to a standard solar power inverter with, which is a, a string inverter, each of those panels in the top row would only be working at 33, 33 watts each. And you can see there's actually a picture of the inverter down in the bottom right hand corner. It's producing 2086 watts. So if this was two strings of, uh, of panels on a standard inverter, the solar power system would probably be only producing like two to 300 watts of electricity right now. And in this case, it's producing over 2,000 watts. That's a major, major difference. So that just shows with a standard solar power inverter, with a standard, which is a standard string inverter, it's really, really important that shading is kept to the absolute minimum. And if there is any shading issues at all, a solar edge product it makes a whole lot of sense. And we'll just continue to scroll up here. You can see. This. We still uh, we just go back there. You can see this panel here. Wow, it's producing 26 watts. When your panels at the other end are producing 176 watts. So with a normal string inverter, each panel in that top row would only be producing 20 around 26 watts. That's a massive, massive loss in power uh, production. And you see uh, we come into full sun during the middle of the day with no shading from those trees. As we start getting off into the afternoon, you can actually see. Now they're all producing about the same and then this panel here starts to get a bit of shade on it from that satellite dish and you can see that one panel is starting to drop down we go where we go look at that there so 113 watts there compared to 183 190 watts 
in, it, in these other panels. So like I said again, that bottom string would normally be working only 113 watts per panel, which is quite a massive difference. And most people just don't realise that. They think, oh look, there's only one panel out of all these 19 panels in shade. Look, it won't make much difference at all. It does make a big difference with a standard string inverter. With the solar edge inverter, as you can see, it optimises each panel and gives you the maximum production from each panel, which uh, which gives you a massive benefit. Now, as you can also see there, there are panels there which are producing, uh, what have we got? We've got one here producing 188, 181 watts. We got one here producing 192 watts. That's quite a big difference, a big discrepancy between the solar panels. Now, you think, oh, well, surely they should be producing all exactly the same amount of power. If they're all in full sun at the same time, same place. Uh, that's not exactly how it works, because each panel is different. They are in, uh, created, obviously, in the, on the same production line and have very similar characteristics. But each panel has different solar uh, cells inside it. They are uh, slightly different. They all, they're, they're all created to a certain tolerance range, but in, within those tolerances, they do produce slightly different amounts of power. And also, with solar power systems, you will have dirt on the solar panels, which is never even. Some panels will have slightly more dirt, affecting it slightly, uh, slightly more. Other panels have slightly less dirt, so they'll be producing slightly more power. And also you have things like, with larger systems, you have the effects of heat. Panels in the middle of a big solar power system won't be able to cool down quite as much from uh, breezes and things like that. And so they'll actually be working hotter than panels on the edge of the system. So they actually won't be producing as much power as panels around the outside either. Now with, once again, with a set of solar string inverter, each one of these panels will only be working as well as the uh, the lowest common denominator in that uh, series string. But with a solar edge inverter, you can see that it's only it's it's maximising the output of each individual panel, giving you the very highest uh, return and highest power output from your solar power system. Now another another thing here as well, which is a major benefit for the solar edge product, is. Uh, if, say, this panel here, which is, has got the shade from the uh, satellite dish, if that was continuously uh, producing, under underperforming the solar panel, the, all the other solar panels in the system, with a standard solar power inverter, with a standard string inverter, it would be very, very hard to actually uh, realise that there is a problem, let alone to actually re work out which panel it is, which is causing the problem. If we did actually, if, as, a, as a solar power uh, accredited installer myself, if there was an issue with a standard solar string inverter which had one panel producing below what it should be, it would probably it would take us a few hours to try and work out what's actually going on, wh which panel is actually the cause of the problem, and obviously that's at a quite a big cost. The great thing about this this system here with the solar edge interface is we can tell in just a moment what each panel is doing and we've got the records of each panel if if a warranty claim was to be made because one panel was producing less than it should be we've got all the information there it, it's, it saves hours and hours of work which would be required with any other type of uh, solar string inverter so look the benefits of solar edge uh, solar inverters are quite huge and uh, look I really recommend them they're a fantastic product they've got a uh, great benefits as, as you've seen some of them here uh, not to mention the uh, the safe, the extra safety uh, with a with a, a safe voltage um, when the panels are switched off on the on the AC side which uh, every other string inverter out there does not have access to and also it has a fantastic benefit of being com totally compatible fully compatible with the Tesla Powerwall home energy storage solution as well. So look, there's some great benefits there of the Solar Edge product and uh, hopefully if, you, if you've got a standard solar inverter, a standard string inverter, you can actually see from this video that it is really important to keep the shading on your solar panels to as little as possible, hopefully none, especially between sort of 9am to about 3pm because that's when the solar panels are producing the most power. 
and any shading in that period will be very detrimental to the system's production. So look, I hope that video has been helpful for you. We're, uh, so my name's Simon, I'm from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Uh, we specialise in solar edge, solar power systems. And uh, if you need any help with, your, with a solar power system and you're on the Gold Coast or South East Queensland, look, don't hesitate to get in contact with us at Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. We're here to help. Thanks very much. I hope this video has been helpful for you.